This is a famous ramen museum in Japan's Yokohama city. Established in the year 1994, it exhibits the history and evolution of ramen. Ramen noodles have always played an important role in boosting tourism in Yokohama. Ramen noodles were invented as a fusion meal of Japan and China after Japan became an open economy in 1859. Later, different versions of ramen started originating in different areas of Japan. There is a strong bond between ramen and Yokohama. After 1899, when Japanese authorities barred foreign settlements, authorities recommended the Chinese to become chefs. This accelerated ramen culture in Japan. 海外の方がですね、非常にそのラーメンの歴史の方に興味がある方が多くてですね、結構熱心に展示物を見ていらっしゃる方が多いです。えー、まあ日本の方はですね、その最近その昭和ブームというものもありまして、まあ歴史というよりもですね、その地下の空間の方に行っていただいて、昭和の街並みで写真を撮る、えー、そういった方が多く見られます。In 1910, the first ramen restaurant Rai Rai Ken was launched. Thirteen Chinese cooks from Yokohama supported it. During the busy season, some 3,000 customers visit the restaurant to eat ramen. Ramen was at that time, soup in Nagoya Shi was used to use it. So, it was used to use Nagoya Kochin. The meat was used to use the meat. It 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 was used to use the meat. このラーメン博物館の調べで分かったもんですから、美味しくもでも懐かしくもっていう思いで、うちの職人たちと一緒に作りました。醤油ラーメンを世界中に広めていけたらいいなって思いますし、世界からも来ていただいて、召し上がっていただければ嬉しいなと思います。Visitors can even try to make ramen noodle in a traditional way. Bamboo stick is used to prepare ramen noodles. The museum itself just really goes to show the tradition and the love of ramen itself. Perhaps some different tastes that we have uh, already uh, eat. eat. Ramen town is surrounded by Showa era's atmosphere. Some 1 billion yen were spent to give an authentic look to this place. Yokohama has a lot of food, but there are also a lot of ramen shops, and there are a lot of ramen shops. ラーメン博物館ではですね、まあラーメン食べられるのもそうなんですけれども、まあ歴史を学べますし、まあラーメン作りもできるということで、まあ総合的にラーメンを楽しめる場所ですので、ぜひお越しください。Based on its long and interesting history, Yokohama preserves memories of not only its food culture but social traditions as well.